Everybody listen? I, I was planning a longer talk about the minimum bid, but since we're about to have an auction, I will maybe give you a piece of what I was going to say. Uh, we opened up last year. We have our auction every week. People make their work in the building over the span of two hours, and then we sell our work. And what I've experienced is the less rules that we make around here, the happier everybody is. And every time you think of any rule that's going to make it better, it impedes on somebody else. Somebody else's process doesn't fit that rule. So we've always had as much flexibility as the rules as possible. If I've heard a criticism of Gorilla House, and uh, it's a fantastic stream on the Facebook uh, talking about minimum bids and uh, the times when your artwork sells for less than your um, materials, big point of discussion. Uh, my thoughts are this. I make artwork because I make artwork. I compile a lot of artwork. Personally, I'm okay to let it go. We've created this venue so that people can come in and sell their work. We've noticed certain patterns, and that was going to be my speech, was the patterns of the minimum bids. And we see certain trends. We have art buyers that have never bought art before. And when they see us develop egos, they sometimes want to knock us down. We've noticed strategies in the bids. We've noticed patterns in the bids. If I walk in and ask for $100 on my first bid, lots of times I'll get shot down. If I ask for five dollars, less likely to get shot down. If I say four twenty and I'm here, <laughs> the room's in an uproar. Um, Andrew Sable was the first person to say free. Nobody knew how to react. And I think at the end of the auction, he sold one of the highest bids that night. There's humility in what we do, and there's a humility in picking a very low bid. And there's never been a point when an artist couldn't pull their work from the auction. They couldn't buy their own piece. In theory, if they buy their own piece, they should still pay half. They don't. Yeah, they do. Well, sometimes they do, but they're not expected to. And the minimum bid needs to be. That's the fucking no rules. We break all the rules here. Yeah. <laughs> Except from Frank, who's got my back like nobody's business. Well, my mother does. <laughs> so anyway, I love you. I can't afford to give you your money. Back. <laughs> you know, got to be <laughs> the fact of the matter is, we pick our minimum bids. Bring your work in. Pick your price. If you want to back out at any time, back out. But it's our minimum bids. So you can't turn around and say I didn't get enough. You can't turn around and say that. Uh, my piece sold for less than my materials. I would hope you're making the art because you love it. I would hope you're selling the art and put it in somebody's home. Nobody here is paying the rent with their art sales. And we broken hearted about that, but we carry on. That's my thoughts. On that note, we're going to have an auction tonight. There's not a big crowd. Artists keep 100% of their money. Choose your minimum bids wisely. <laughs> Choose your bids. I'd like to barrel that person.